Hi, I'm Brian King, Certified Orthotist and Prosthetist here at Joint Active Systems. In this video, we're going to review how to take proper length measurements when ordering and fitting a Jazz Elbow Range of Motion device. It's really important to capture proper length measurements so that we're maximizing our lever arms above and below the affected joint without creating fitting complications for the patient. The first measurement we're going to capture on the upper arm will be from the axilla to the elbow center, which we represent as the medial epicondyle. It's very important that we determine an appropriate starting point for this measurement proximally. That's going to be the axilla, and we define that as where the pectoral musculature meets the biceps musculature on the anterior surface of the body. So rather than trying to place the end of your tape measure up under the arm to capture that initial endpoint, we recommend that you use some type of firm straight edge that you'll simply lift up under the arm and bring it up to its stopping point. We're not gonna apply any pressure to displace soft tissue or compress soft tissue, but simply bring it up to its start, stopping point. I'm gonna have the patient just hold that in place now. And we're gonna measure now from the top edge of our ruler down to the elbow center, which again is the medial epicondyle. This measurement is gonna be along the midline of the upper arm on the medial surface. So we're measuring from the proximal edge of our ruler to the medial epicondyle. And in this case, I get six and three quarter inches. Our second upper arm measurement is gonna be from the same starting point in the axilla down to the crease of the elbow. The crease of the elbow is gonna be where the forearm musculature meets the biceps musculature. So again, with our tape measure, we're going to measure from the top edge of our straight edge down to that crease of the elbow. And in this case, we get six inches. Now we're gonna move on to the forearm measurements. The first measurement we're gonna capture there will again be from this elbow crease. Now we're measuring down to the apex of the ulnar styloid. In this case, you can see we've marked both the ulnar styloid and also the lateral epicondyle. So if you have a patient where these bony landmarks aren't particularly prominent or they're difficult to palpate, we recommend you locate those first and mark those so that you can find your endpoints easily when you're measuring. So our first measurement will be from that elbow crease down to the apex of the ulnar styloid. So in this case, we get seven and three quarter inches. Our second measurement of the forearm will be from the elbow center, which in this case is the lateral epicondyle, again down to the apex of the ulnar styloid. And in this case, we get 10 and a half inches. So to reemphasize a point that I made earlier on the upper arm length measurement, again, it's very critical to not get your measurement point proximally too high. So we're referring to that junction of the chest and the arm and not pushing any higher than that point. You have to really imagine where the top of your cuff is going to be and that top edge of the cuff is going to be established by that measurement and where you're starting from. So again, we just encourage you to use some type of a straight edge and push that just to the stopping point and not compress any soft tissue as your starting point. The final takeaway point that will really help assure that you're getting accurate measurements is positioning the arm so that you're as close to 90 degrees of elbow flexion as possible. That just helps to identify the lower arm segment and the upper arm segment. We accept measurements in both centimeters and inches. If you are measuring in inches, always measure to the nearest quarter inch. If you have any questions about the instructions we just presented, or if you have any questions about other jazz measurements that are required, we encourage you to refer to our jazz measurement guide or contact us directly here at jazz.